you can instantly recognize this as being a lymph node. Here is some adipose and fibrous tissue surrounding the lymph node. Uh, here is the capsule of the lymph node. Here are the follicles along the cortex. And in addition, you could see something else in this lymph node which doesn't look right. Perhaps here, and here, and here, and here. Whereas in a normal secondary follicle, you have a lighter germinal center surrounded by darker lymphocytes. You can see that there are certain areas which are extremely well differentiated, extremely pink, and in this area, also centrally necrotic. These are granulomas. This is a, a granulomatous inflammation of a lymph node. And uh, here are generally the uh, histiocytes. You can see there's some fibrous tissue in here as well. And I'm going to zoom it up a little bit. And you could see giant cells, can't you? Even at this stage, you could see them here. You could see them here. Uh, let's go another click or two. Here's a giant cell. Here's a giant cell. Here's a multinucleated giant cell. And in this smaller granuloma, I might have a hard time convincing you that this was kind of necrosis in the center. But if you go to the larger granulomas, which this is, you can see clearly this is a necrotizing or centrally necrotic or caseating center inside of this granuloma, which is surrounded by fibroblasts and histiocytes and lymphocytes and many, many, many classical multinucleated giant cells. The multinucleated giant cells of TB are also often called Langhans giant cells. This is tuberculosis, which involves a lymph node. If you did a zeal Nielsen stain, uh, especially in a kind of a transition between a necrotic area and where you see uh, histiocytes, like perhaps here, uh, you could very easily see the little uh, acid fast rods staining very nicely with the acid fast stain or zeal Nielsen stain. Once again, caseating granulomas of tuberculosis within a lymph node, and I thank you very much.